my friends, and welcome back to MTD CNC. Yes, you have caught me in India again. And we are having so much fun here. We're at Omni X, as you can see. We're standing in front of a Haas machine. Quick summary, Omni X, 32 years ago, a couple of Czech brothers hopped over to the US, launched a company in Colorado, opened a second in Mexico, a third in Czech Republic, a fourth in India, four locations around the world supporting you globally. One of the global leaders, and we're gonna talk a little bit more about that global leading company, as well as how Haas, both locally and internationally, supports this amazing company. So my friend, thank you so much for being a part of MTD CNC. I really do appreciate the opportunity you've given us to showcase some of the stuff what we're doing, not only for India, but also for the rest of the world. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much, much for being here. Thank you so much for saying that. I do truly appreciate that. Let's talk a little bit about OmniX, the start, the journey, and your journey through OmniX as well. Right. So OmniX was started by uh, Alexander Schloka. Alexander was uh, a, a, a Czech national, and he immigrated to the United States about 35 years ago and started this company called OmniX. OmniX means as you would imagine, omni means everything. And the X factor is the unknown factor, the unknown factor in tooling. That is where we are good at. That is why the dash X is there, to help you to uncover that, which we do very well. That's clever. I yeah. like that a lot. And so you've been doing this here in India for about three years and expanded from seven employees to what do we have now and a couple of machines to how many machines? So when we started in India, we had uh, uh, roughly two, uh, uh, three machines and we had seven employees. Today we have 23 employees, we have uh, 61 customers and we have uh, five Haas machines. And we have customers in China, we have customers in, uh, in, Sing in Singapore, we have customers in Thailand, we have customers also in Philippines. and. Uh, Uzbekistan and in the Middle East. We are almost, we are serving about seven countries from this location. It's truly impressive. And you know, I, I do a lot of these interviews around the world and I get to talk to so many amazing people similar to yourself. And when someone says, well, we started with a couple of machines and we're at this now. We started with a couple of customers. Now we're over 60, right? Yeah. This shows to me the quality of what you're producing. So OmniX is very, uh, I would say, dedicated to our customer base in terms of not only are we the global leaders in uh, tube bending, we also support the customer. Let's say a customer orders, an automotive customer orders a tool from us. We supply the, we design the tool, we make sure the tool fits uh, the specifications. And we also go over and help the customer to set up the tool and run off production parts on the machine. So we offer, we are the only company in the world offering a true end-to-end -end solution, right from design up to crew out. There's no other company who is capable of doing this as much as we have. So we're standing in front of a Haas right now, and this Haas has a bar feeder. I know talking with you, you are really interested in doing that lights out production, and a bar feed helps with that, but you are a majority cutting steel on a regular basis. How has the bar feed helped you, and how has the Haas supported your steel cutting? So two things on this. Uh, I've been working with Haas for almost 15, 20 years now, and uh, what I say about Haas is that their designs are quite good, they're simple, they're rugged and effective. And when I mean effective, for the amount of money that you spend, you get the payback. That is so true. And so it is good value for money. And you mentioned you're pulling gems from what you've invested yeah, in, yes. right? Yes, yes, we are doing quite well, and we are able to extract, uh, you know, good amount of production from our Haas machines. We do spend a lot of money on tooling, but uh, you know, in spite of that, we are able to use our machines effectively. Now, as regards cutting steel con is concerned, yes, Haas machines are able to cut steel and maintain the repeatability and accuracy over some time. We have been running these machines here now for last three years, but our US and Mexico operations and our Czech Republic have run them for ma more than 10 years, and we have not found any major issues with them. The other advantage what we have here sitting in Bangalore is that our Haas dealer is just about two, three kilometers away, let's say two, three miles away. And anytime we give him a shout, the guy just jumps in within half an hour. So 
you know, it's a no-brainer to buy a house. Might I remind the audience right now that this is always unscripted, and this guy is better at my job than I am. This is legitimately one of those authentic conversations, and I love it. So I think it's important to focus or reiterate, here in India, there's a lot of aluminum being cut and there's steel being cut, but it's important to understand that when we're doing a process with a bar feed repetitively through the night, over and over again, we want to come into work and have quality parts, not a bunch of scrap, right? So the Haas machine's tolerance remains there, and that's how you can run that lights out production. Yes, there are a number of advantages with this particular machine. So one of the advantages is with this bar feeder. Why, why would I buy a Haas bar feeder as opposed to another bar feeder? You know, there are bar feeders made by other manufacturers in India which are a lot cheaper, less than 50% of this price. But why did I go for this? The reason is that the Haas bar feeder also measures the distance it feeds the bar through. Okay? So what happens, the advantage you have is that you don't have rejections. And you have that consistency and repeatability. And whenever we do a production run, and our guys set it up around 9 o'clock at night and they just leave. We are able to run about, I would say, between 50 and 60 parts totally unmanned. And the why are we able to run only 60 parts is a number of things. First of all, we are running steel parts of pretty high accuracies. So the inserts, tooling inserts wear out. So we don't want to go beyond that, number one. And number two, we also use the, some of the programming functions in the Haas uh, control to constantly check for tool wear and make sure that the parts are consistent. We also have a built inbuilt probing system to make sure that the parts what we produce unmanned do work and they meet the tolerance and geometric and tolerance requirements, uh, uh, manufacturing requirements. Very well said. And speaking of these you know, probing systems and zero point systems you're traditionally known as a high production shop but you have an area of the shop that's a high mix low volume area as well where you implement some shunk vices and you've utilized the man of marketing turnkey center to make sure when these things arrive you are ready to go from day one right absolutely so here uh, on our uh, turning centers we do have some production uh, wherein we run parts of about three four hundred pieces 500 pieces sometimes even a hundred but on our machining centers, we typically run only one or two parts. So we typically make about 10 or 12 different kinds of parts every single day. So one of the ways we do it is that we are using the Shunk Zero Point system, wherein uh, you know we can swap those uh, vices in and out. And uh, we also have equipped all our machines with a probing system. So. What, what we do is when we put on the machine, the probe comes in, takes the datum very quickly, and then we synchronize the program. And secondly, we also have the tool measuring system. So all our tools offsets are taken quickly, so we do not waste too much time doing that. And that's how we're able to be efficient and make money on our machining centers. Well, your colleague told me that you were born ready for an interview, and he was not lying. I think no, you nailed I'm not. every aspect of this. No, no. Thank you very much. It's very nice of you to say so. Oh, you did a great job. And on behalf of MTD, we wish OmniX, yourself, your colleagues, all the success in the world moving forward. Thank you and I so really, much. really appreciate you, my Thank friend. Thank you very much. I do appreciate you gentlemen taking the time and coming down here. To Always see a us. pleasure. Thank you.